Dear guests watching this concert online, dear friends of Poland, dear friends of the Embassy Series, it is a great honor for me to welcome you all virtually to my residence. Allow me to begin by expressing my gratitude to all medical workers and first responders who risk their lives every day saving lives, and to all essential staff without whom our basic needs would not be met. To all of those brave men and women, I say thank you for your selfless work. The pandemic has ushered in a challenging reality. We hope that this event will offer our viewers, including our friends from the DC diplomatic community, as well as those who love music, a brief return to a semblance of normalcy. You will soon listen to some of the best, most timeless music Poland can share with the world, the compositions of Frédéric Chopin, but also to the great music of Ludwig van Beethoven and other composers. This event, above all, is about solidarity. The year 2020 is an excellent time to celebrate the spirit of solidarity that supports our friends and allies in these challenging times. But it's also important to remember that broader meaning of the word solidarity itself. The year 2020 marks the 40th anniversary of the inception of the solidarity movement in Poland, a trade union as well as a mass peaceful movement which inspired democratic changes throughout Central and Eastern Europe. On August 31st, 1980, following the Gdańsk shipyard strikes that sought labor reform and greater civil rights, the communist authorities acquiesced to the workers' demands. Solidarity, solidarity grew into a mass non-violent movement that transcended class differences and united Polish society against the communists. From, the, from across the Atlantic, US civil society, inspired by the Polish diaspora, also aided solidarity with political pressure and financial and material support for which Poland continues to be grateful. This event is also about hope. You will soon listen to Matthew Chung, a representative of the young generation of Americans and extraordinarily talented pianist. What could give us more hope for a brighter future than listening to the inspirational beauty of music composed two centuries ago? 2020 also marks the 210th anniversary of Chopin's birth and is celebrated in Poland and internationally as the year of Frédéric Chopin. Next year, Warsaw will once again become the capital of classical piano music for the international Chopin competition. We hope to see Matthew take part in this prestigious competition in the near future. And last but not least, I would like to thank Mr. Jerome Barry, the founder of the Embassy Series, who is organizing today's special event together with our Embassy. Since its inception in 1994, the Embassy Series has organized more than 600 concerts in collaboration with the DC diplomatic community, including with the Polish Embassy. The initiative has allowed the DC area audience to get a feel for the, national, for the nation being represented, a key aspect of promoting and celebrating cultural diversity. I hope you enjoy today's concert. Mr. Barry, the floor is yours. Thank you. Thank you, Ambassador Vilcek. I'm always very grateful to you for your flexibility and creativity in allowing the Embassy Series to have concerts in this beautiful residence. And I have to thank a few people for 
making this Hollywood type of production, which I think is uh, quite uh, unique and the next best thing to virtual. And uh, to everybody up there looking in, and I hope you'll uh, participate in applause in between pieces, and the people here at the same time can enjoy this wonderful concert. And to Glass River Media for producing this with the great help of uh, a good friend of mine, Todd Clark, and to Anne Tristani, Anne Howard Tristani, who has been a, a bedrock for me. And to the Kirov Academy, because they have been so helpful in providing the most talented young man that you're going to hear. He's 12 years old, just turned 12, and is going to really regale us with a wonderful concert, I am sure. By the power of Zoom, all these images of the audience are projected on a screen here. And you can applaud uh, just as if you were in the theater or in a concert hall. So I want to thank you for that. And I really want to thank the president of the Kirov Academy, Dr. Tatiana Moon, who will now greet you virtually for a very short introduction. The Kirov Academy, I want to express our sincere appreciation to the Ambassador of Poland, the Honorable Wilczek, and to Mr. Jerome Berry, the founder and the director of the Embassy Series for organizing this special concert today featuring Matthew Chang. As you may know, Matthew is a premier piano student at the Kirov Academy's gifted and talented program for young musicians. We are honored that Matthew was selected for this important occasion. Once again, thank you very much. Solidarity is very important in Polish history, and uh, I have, with the Embassy Series, uh, quite a long record. This was right after Solidarity that we started to have concerts with the Polish Embassy. And I'm very happy to present a very short uh, three-minute video on the origins of Solidarity.
And now I have a real privilege today to be able to introduce a wonderful young artist. He just turned 12, as I said. And I think that it's very important nowadays to cater to this uh, wonderful generation, Generation Z, I think they call it, and that is young people that are striving to continue their artistic performances, and it's very difficult nowadays. And what we're trying to do is to give each young person a chance to show their abilities and to really get some experience in front of an audience. And uh, when the audience applauds, you might have to just look at them because we don't hear as quite as well as you do. But we're working that out. It's the first time. So therefore, I want to say something about uh, Matthew. He was born in 2008. He studied at the, in studies now, at the Care of Academy's year-round gifted and talented music program. He has been studying piano with Dr. Kui E. Wu for six years and has received numerous accolades during his career, including winning first prizes in the Chopin competition in Hartford, Connecticut, the William Knabe International Piano Competition, the Steinway Washington Piano Competition, International Young Artists Competition, and many, many others. Uh, he has performed here in Washington at the Embassy of Poland and uh, Germany, and he was one of the winners of the Kosciuszko Foundation of the Chopin Competition. And uh, throughout the Academy's Piano Legends Masterclass Series, he has attended numerous masterclasses and performed for world-renowned artists, such as Gary Grafman, Jerome Lowenthal, and John Perry. And what was said about him at the New York Concert Review, he projected the life of each distinct phrase with a joyful and intense involvement. His rhythm was not merely solid, but also full of dance-like energy. This is the basic program, I'll make it very fast. Johann Sebastian Bach, very short piece. The Symphonia Number no. 8 in F major, BWV 694, then Ludwig van Beethoven, Sonata in C minor, Opus 13, the Pathetique, the first movement. And afterwards, Friedrich Chopin, the Grande Valse Brillante, Opus 18, and the Variation Brillante in B flat major, Opus 12. And then finally, Dmitri Kabalevsky, Sonata Number no. 3 in F Major, Opus 46, Allegro Giocoso. I hope you enjoy this as much as I am going to. Matthew Chang. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
And thanks to the Billy Rose Foundation. John, you're up there. I want to thank you and the Foundation for making this possible. When I suggested this idea, John, who was a, a lawyer, but a wonderful pianist too, and he's been practicing all his life, and he's fantastic. And thank you, that, that meant so much to us. I wanted you all to know that the Embassy Series just views this as the start. What could be done? We will iron out any problems, but it's really so thrilling, and thank you very much. This will be on our site at the Embassy Series. Look it up on YouTube, and this whole program will be available to show to any of your friends. And please uh, go to embassyseries.org to see what we're doing in the future, and we intend to continue. Again, Ambassador Vilcek, a very big thanks to you and to your staff. They did a wonderful job. And let's go in peace and hope for wonderful outcomes in 2021. Thank you.